So, this is the dark side of dieting and the things that people fail to tell you when embarking on a diet. We are Dan and Mike and this is 5 Minute Fitness where we try to cram in as much nutrition and training information into just 5 precious five minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these sorts of videos. Go check out our other ones. We do loads of other things like vlogs, spoof documentaries, behind the scenes videos. He does some eating challenges because he can eat a lot of food. I don't because I mm. can't. But let's get on this one. So the dark side the dark of dieting. Side. The dark side. Stuff that people just don't talk about. You want to lose weight. You want to go on a diet. You want to do all those great things that come with that. But what are the drawbacks that no one is talking about? It all looks so glamorous. Yeah. On Instagram, six contests, packs, six packs, veins, yeah. everything. But in reality, there's a lot of downsides and negatives to dieting. Obviously, if you're going from slightly overweight or overweight or whatever, you know, yes, whatever, except, you know, I'm lean. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you can't make, yeah, that, joke can't make that joke anymore. To a, a normal size or, you know, just in better Fine. shape, you know, you're not really going to see much degradation or, or, no. of your health. You're actually going to improve your health. But these, after are, the a things that, point, these are the things that come with extreme, like low levels prep, of body fat, photo prep, shoot prep. Photo shoots, okay. what, what are the complications? Let's, let's run through them. So there are quite a few things. If you're female in particular, there's one big one which can be you can lose your menstrual cycle and that can be quite scary for women if they don't know that's coming or that is something that happens with extremely levels How of often fat. would you say that that would occur? I'd say nine times out of ten. Yeah, most most females do it. Two and three, probably. Like, nine out of ten, two and three, something like that. Like, They're completely different ratios, but one, one of them is 66%. Well, between 66 to 90, between okay. that sort we'll of We'll go for about figure. 78 then. So, a very high proportion, should we go with, yeah. of females may experience losing their menstrual cycle or have irregular cycles. And a lot of people don't know that. that. A no. lot, because I've spoken about this to females, like, to expect this. Oh, really? Really? I, I didn't think that. I think yeah, they also no, think because we're blokes, we're like, you wouldn't yeah. know that. So yeah. Like, no, know that. Yeah, no, that, that is. This. Yeah. You should probably expect that to happen. That doesn't mean it's a good thing. That's just a, you're gonna have to take that on the chin and go, do you know what, I may lose my period for a couple of months at the back end of a real hard diet. And then the focus then, which we'll go into in another video, but the focus then yeah. should be about getting that back. But that is, you know, like yeah. I say, 78% out of 100, that might exactly. happen. Exactly, exactly that. 78%. Exactly. Um, so the next one, of course, linked to that somewhat, is that you will massively lose sex drive. And that's for male and female. Both, like, when you go through periods of dieting, you just have such low energy levels your hormones are a little bit all over the place and most of the time for males and females your testosterone will drop no, there's nothing you can do about it no. right unless you take steroids but yeah. there's nothing you can do about it from a natural point of view you're going to lie there and go the last thing you'll be thinking about is sex you'll be sat on the sofa and the last thing crossing your mind will be that you'll be thinking more about food right. you'll be all you'll be thinking about is food you would probably go nah but honestly <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you've ever dieted yeah. hard enough you can walk around places with a lot of females like we've been you know to body power scantily clad females everywhere you're just bothered about what food like, yeah, you, yeah. you can eat that's it. Other things. Food focus. Extreme food focus. You'll see a lot of people going through these rigorous diets and then their Instagram feed starts to come full of burger places. Food porn places. rather than normal food. porn. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, exactly that, yeah. right? Exactly that. Jacking off over a fucking burger. Yeah. Right? Like I said, you can't jack off because you can't get it up. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so extreme food focus. You'll start to <laughs> think about food, think about food. And then you'll start to maybe make a list. Oh, I want that when I finish that. I'm going to have that, I'm going to have that, I'm going to have that. And that is not a healthy way to look at food at all. And again, this can be somewhat negated by the style of dieting to a certain extent. At the end of the day, nobody's fitting pizza into their macros. No. So there's going to be a certain extent that I want that because I've not had it for a while and I enjoy that food. That's, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But to some level, if you've been really, really rigorous, rigorously dieting, you'll see extreme levels of food focus which can then spiral post that diet. Another big drawback of dieting is your hunger levels sometimes are irregulated. So basically you'll have large amounts of food and you'll just be hungry. You'll still be hungry. Like you might have a refeed day, you'll still be hungry. You yeah. might find after the date of your photo shoot or the prep or whatever it is, you might find a week or so afterwards you still can't feel football. Now, you need to manage that situation as best as possible because it happens. Us telling you now, you're gonna be sat there going, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be okay, I'll be okay. It's fucking hard yeah. to be able to sit in front of food knowing you can eat it if you want it, there's nothing stopping you and you're there going, well, I'm hungry, so I want more of it. And you get really, really obsessed with high calorie, very highly palatable foods. Mm. My advice would be to try and limit them as much as physically possible, stick to the dieting foods you were eating, but just did much higher volumes. Mm. So if you've eaten porridge before, triple the volume of that, rather than having loads of chocolate on top of it. <laughs> 
probably a better way to go about it. The last one is extreme focus on your own body and those people around you, let's yeah. say. So you'll start to critique yourself. How many times can you look at your abs in the mirror? From one day to the next, you think, oh, I'm fat today. Oh, I don't look as good today. Yeah. What's happening? You'll then start to overthink things. You'll think that you are fatter than what you are and you'll start to become obsessed a little bit yeah. with how you're looking on a, sometimes on an hour to hour basis. Yeah. Oh, I look a little bit bloated now. Well, I've, 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 I know people that have weighed themselves morning and night and gone, oh God, I've gained a kilo yeah. during the day. You yeah, will you, have. You've eaten food. It's like, yeah. But you become so obsessed with that number and you get so obsessed with looking at yourself and the amount of times you have clients who afterwards go, I can't believe I look back at this time. They remember the pictures where they were thinking they were fat because mm. they now look back three, two and three months later and be like, oh my God, what was I thinking? I was so lean. Yeah. You just do not have a normal view of yourself, of your body, of other no. people's bodies. You think that you need to get leaner all mm. the time. You always think, I must get leaner, must get leaner, must get leaner. So please make sure you've got um, someone else looking over you, making sure that you're, you know, from that point of view, physique point of view, that you look okay, you look mm. good. And believe your coach, if they tell you you look great, don't pretend like they don't know what I'm talking about. They're only saying it because it's right. They're not saying it because they want to make you feel better or whatever. I would say that those are the main things. I think you've got other things that tie in there which are going to be quite obvious, like you're going to be tired, your training performance is going to degrade, you, there's potential risk of muscle loss because you're going to, you know, you're not performing as well. You're not going to be able to do as many socials, you're not going to be able to drink, you're not going to be able to eat out, you're going to maybe feel a little bit ostracized from family and friends, that kind of thing. Yeah, all those things are your choice and they're just a byproduct of doing yeah. that as a goal. All those things aren't things people talk about, all the things we've gone over. So they're all the negative side effects and implications of dieting, which not a lot of people do realistically talk about. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please do subscribe to our channel because then you will get the notification for our next video that we do. Until next time, this has been 5 Minute Fitness.